In this video, I tried beating Terraria using melee weapons only. However, to make things even more interesting, I installed a mod that allows me to attack using every single weapon stored inside my inventory. Just how crazy will things get? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, let's get started. So of course, I'll be chopping down some trees for wood. And for this video, I'll be trying to find as many melee weapons as possible. However, our main focus is to get weapons that shoot projectiles, or that has an effect. So weapons like the Star Fury, the Enchanted Sword, the Blade of Grass, all those. The more projectiles, the better. Okay, that should be enough wood for now. We have 350. And we might as well just make the wooden sword. There we go. And this should make us be able to swing two swords at the same time. So the copper short sword and the wooden sword. Let's see, three, two, one. Yeah, it does. Perfect. Okay, we have a few chests down here. Let's see what's inside. We got the Intrepid Guide to Plant Fiber Cordage. So it gives us melee speed. And of course, we'll be trying to aim for as much melee speed as possible. Because the faster I attack, the more damage I'll be able to deal. And we got the Lucky Radar. Okay. 4% critical strike chance. Got the Umbrella. Okay, this count as a melee weapon, but... Apparently, when I attack with this, it doesn't actually use the wooden sword. So that's a bit strange. Okay, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the umbrella because it can only hit left or right. So, I'm just going to stick with the wooden sword. Okay, here's our first golden chest that's rigged with all these traps. So, let's make sure I take them all down. No way! Okay, we got Hermes boots right off the bat. That's gonna save us so much time. Oh my god. And I'll be staying underground for a while. We're gonna mine all different kinds of ores. So even copper, because we're gonna try to make as many different kinds of weapons as possible. <laughs> that was a bit unfortunate. Anyways, let's go back down. Oh, there's some more emerald there. I have nine already, so that's definitely enough to make a hook. Wow, that's a lot of emeralds. Oh my god, we have 27 now. So potentially, I can make the base sabers. I just need 15 meteorite bars, so hopefully a meteorite will fall. Hey, that's a lot of topaz as well. Oh, and there's our first life crystal. Let's just hope I don't die from all these cave bats. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Oh, another gold chest with a heart statue. I'll take that. And we got another Hermes boots. This one has armored on it, but I think I'll be using this one first. Because the 3% damage isn't really going to change anything at all. Alright, let's not step on this pressure plate. Get rid of that. Alright, what do we have in here? Wait. Oh my. What? Another Hermes boots? With armored again. I mean, sure, I'll take it. Because I can always sell it for gold. But usually, I wouldn't be able to find these things. Because it would take me so long, but I'm not complaining now. <laughs> okay, we have some more sapphire here. We have 18 now. Okay, there is a life crystal right there in the water and up there as well. So that's going to bring us to 200 health. Okay, that's one. And that's two. Okay, we found a spider's nest, so hopefully there is a webbed chest down here. I see a water chest. Okay, I'll take that. And we got the suspicious looking eye. Okay, yeah, unfortunately there's no webbed chest in this one. But that's alright. Oh, okay, there's a lot of rubies down there. So I might as well just make the ruby hook. 
Oh god, give me that. Okay, we got the violent inner tube. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. Let's just get rid of the statue and the scorpion. Just so that no more spawns. Okay, I think we just got a gravitation potion. Yeah, there it is. Alright, with this, I can now get the star fairy. Okay, it looks like there's another spider's nest. So hopefully this one has the web the chest. Okay. It has a gold chest. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay. I know these things can hit a lot of damage, so let's cover ourselves up. Okay, shoe spikes. And then another suspicious looking eye. Give me that life crystal. Alright, is this enough to knock it away? Kind of. Not really. Back out. Oh no! Kill it, please! Okay, we're good, we're good. Doesn't seem like there is one. Yeah. Unlucky again. Okay, there's the lost girl. I do want that metal detector, so... I'm gonna have to be very careful here. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice safe spot to attack her. Will this trigger it? No, how about this one? Oh, there we go. Oh god! Okay, okay, we're good. Wait, don't fall in lava. You know what? That actually works better for us. Let's go over there. Cover. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought the metal detector would be burned into the lava, but I guess not. The lava works in our favor then. Alright. One more down should do it. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Okay. Now, does this one have a web chest? This is my third one, and I really don't think so. No, there isn't. Wow, okay. Three spiders nest, yet there's no web chest. Unless it's up there. That's very strange. I've never had that happen to me before. Okay, this is a lot of gold, and I want to get most of it. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it. Give it to me all. Okay, yeah, and then they do burn up. Damn it! Okay. <laughs> I really thought they wouldn't burn up, but they did. Okay, I basically reached hell now, and... I think I've done enough mining. I got a whole bunch of ores and bars and accessories, too. My life is at 240... Which is pretty decent, so yeah, I think it's time to head home. And it looks like it is nighttime, so let's go ahead and build ourselves a little house. Okay, that should do it for now. Let's make a furnace, and then let's smelt our iron bars to make an anvil. Now, I do want to make the ruby hook, however, I have more emeralds. So, I think I'll just make the emerald hook. I know the ruby hook is better though. But we're going to save it just in case if we ever want to fight the king slime or something. There we go. Emerald hook. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of silver bars. So, I think I'm going to make the full silver armor. Okay, there we go. 16 defense now. And then let's make the gold pickaxe. And I'm just going to test this out. We're going to make the Iron Short Sword. So what I'm thinking is... If I do have the two short swords, you know, they're the same type of sword. I'm not sure if they'll attack at the same time. But we're going to find that out right now. 3, 2, 1. Oh, it does. I see it switching. Okay. But does it really affect damage? Alright, let's see here. 3, 2, 1... It does. Okay, perfect. That means I can make the silver short sword as well as the gold short sword. Alright, and they're all changing. Perfect. Let's see how much damage we do now. One hit. Wait, that's only... Huh? Okay, wait, hold on. I think we need a enemy with more health to test this thing out. Yeah, I think the maximum is only two short swords then. Okay, damn it. I was hoping for all of them to attack at the same time. 
Wait, maybe it can attack at the same time. If I use the wooden sword... Wait, wait, wait. It does attack at the same time. Hold on. It's only if I use the wooden sword. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Okay, okay. It does work. Okay, this devour. Oh my god, that damage. Yes, okay. But then if I just use the short sword by itself... Let's see. Then yeah, see? It doesn't really attack a lot. Now let's test out the broadswords. Do two of these ones swing out at the same time? Okay, let's put the short swords away. Alright. Nope, it does not affect it. Okay, so the broadswords do not work together. So now that I know only one broadsword is allowed, I'm just going to get rid of all these ones and then make the gold broadsword. And then we're just going to make the gold axe just to speed up our tree chopping a bit faster. Okay, now let's go ahead and build some NPC houses. Okay, five should do it for now. Now, with our gravitation potion, it's time to find some sky islands. And hopefully with just three minute duration, I'll be able to find all of them. Okay, nope. Let's get in first. I don't want to die. Okay. Yes, let's go. First one, got the Star Fury. Now, this should spawn a shooting star. Yeah. Wait. Wait, I shoot it instead of falling from the sky? Okay, I'll take that. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I definitely prefer shooting it forward instead of it falling down from the sky. Because it just gives me a lot more better accuracy. And here's another one. Shiny red balloon. Okay. We have about 25 seconds left. Let's see if I can find... Yep, okay. Here's the last one. And we got the lucky horseshoe. Okay. And then let's just build a quick arena like that. It's only halfway into the night, not even. So I think killing the Eye of Cthulhu will definitely be doable. Okay, yeah, let's start it up. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight in to deal as much damage as possible. But I don't want to take too much damage. Okay, now go in, go in, go in. Yeah, let's go. Shut it up. Oh my. Wait, heal up. Okay, back out a little bit. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, we got the Shield of Cthulhu now. You know what? Might as well just summon it one more time. Just because we killed it so fast. Oh my god. Okay. When it hit second phase too, I just dealt so much damage. Oh, here we go. Second phase. Okay. Jesus. There we go. And we got guarding on it. Yeah, we're gonna take this one instead. Because, like I said before, 3% damage is not gonna affect these things at all. Okay, we have some Demonite bars. So, we can make the Light's Bane. But I'm pretty sure this counts as a broadsword, right? It does, okay. Which means we're gonna replace the gold broadsword. Now for yo-yos, I'm not sure if it affects it at all. If I use it primarily, yes, it will. But if it's a sub-weapon, then I'm not too sure. But we're going to try it out. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. It does not throw out the yo-yo. But if I use it like this, then it does. 
It's strange though. The light spin um shadow slash, I guess, doesn't really show. I hear it though, but I just see very tiny purple particles. Yeah, so I don't think I'll be using yo-yos. Now my next goal is to go down to the jungle, get the rest of my life crystals to max out my health. And then we're also going to try to find the Feral Claws. Because that's going to make all of our weapons swing really fast. And I'm also going to be farming materials to make the Blade of Grass. Because the Blade of Grass projectiles can be used to poison enemies. Okay, we got a boomerang. Will this be affected? Oh, it does. Okay. Wait. I don't even have to wait for it to come back. Oh my god. Hold on. If I use it like this, I have to wait. And then if I just use the Light's Bane. Oh my god. Okay. I did not know that. I will be collecting more boomerangs then. Okay. We have a chest down here. Feral Claws. Hermes Boots again. I'll go ahead and sell that. Okay. What do we have in here? There it is. Okay. We'll replace our shoe spikes with it. Jesus Christ, that damage. Got the magic mirror. Got the anklet of the wind. Okay. Let's try to find the aglet now. Okay, we got a mace. Will this work? I'm assuming not. Yeah, and I'm right. Okay. But what if we use it as a main weapon? Then our Light Spain does not work. I'd much rather have the Light Spain. Yeah, so I guess I won't be collecting flails. Okay, I just need two more jungle spores. Okay, there we go. Have enough now. Got another... Oh my god, okay. We'll take that. Got armored on it. There's another life crystal that brings us to 300, so we need five more. Okay, cloud in a bottle. I was actually hoping to get this. Band of regeneration. Okay, three more life crystals to find. Now, I'm thinking of fighting the queen bee. However, when I think about it, if I do end up getting the bee's keeper, which is the bee sword, then... It's going to override my Light's Bane. Because I think it counts as a broadsword. But I guess there's no harm in trying to find out. Okay, one more life crystal to go. Wait. Oh my god, we just found it. We found the Shimmer Pool. Okay, I won't be needing it for now. But if I ever do, it will come in very handy. That's basically a free... Um, a free reforge from the tinkerer okay there's our last life crystal okay let's take on the queen bee arena is done all right let's go oh my god that's 44 damage okay let's get up close oh yeah shred that thing yeah, I might not be able to do it. Oh, God. Okay, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, yeah, just stay there. Just stay there. This is perfect. Oh, God, no. Okay, it's going to dash faster. No, I can't tank it. Nope, nope, nope. That bad idea. Oh, my God. Kill it. No. Heal. Two more seconds. One more. Heal. Okay, okay, we're good. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. No. No, 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 no. 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 I messed up. I messed up my timing for the shield of Cthulhu dashes. Oh my god, I was so close. Okay, well, we're back up here. At least I can make the blade of grass now. Now, does this have the projectiles? Yes, it does. Oh! And it shoots just like the Star Fury. S straightforward. Wait, I can also make the Thorn Chakram. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Okay. 
And we got Ruthless on it. 49 belly damage. Okay. There we go. Okay, what are you selling? Life form analyzer? I'll take that. Wait, no way he's selling the aglet. Okay, I'll take that. Now I can make lightning boots. I did not mean to break that just yet, but it's okay. We're going to wing it now. We have better weapons, so we should win this time. Yeah, way faster. Oh my god. Okay. All done. And we got the bee gun, but we're not going to use that. I'll get back to the queen bee later on whenever I find more beehives, but for now, our next goal is to fight the Eater of Worlds. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, that is the Enchanted Sword Shrine. Let's go. Yes, okay. We got another projectile to our list. Wow, I just got so lucky there. Okay, honestly, this should do. I really don't need that nice or that big of an arena. Because, you know, I have a slight feeling I'm just going to shred this boss. Alright, let's start breaking the shadow orbs. And this is our last one. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to destroy this boss. Oh my god. I'm just going to sit still, to be honest. Jesus! Oh my god, it's getting shredded. That was pretty quick. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna fight it one last time because I do want enough shadow scale to make the full shadow armor plus the nightmare pickaxe. And there's three shadow orbs right here. Run back to the arena. All right, all done. All right, Nightmare Pickaxe, Shadow Greaves, Scale, Mail, and Helmet. That's barely enough. Wow, okay. And that gave us plus 15% critical strike chance. Oh my god, there's a Meteor. So now we basically have 20 plus critical strike chance for each weapon. Now I said that I can make all the phase sabers, but... Now that I've realized that broadswords don't really stack with each other, I think I'm just going to pass on these. But I'll make two, just to see. Because these weapons might be completely different from broadswords. Okay, found the meteorites. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, so we're going to make the blue phase blade. And the yellow one. Let's see. Three, two, one. Yep, I was correct. You know what? I think I'll actually replace one of the phase blades with the Light's Bane. I mean, this thing only does 16 or has 16 melee damage. And this thing has 27. <gasps> oh, okay. Goblin Army is approaching. Then after the Goblin Army, I'll go find the Goblin Tinkerer. But yeah, let's see how much damage the Ruby one does. 26. So, yeah, not by a lot. All these ones do this. Oh, they all do the same damage. I just realized. Okay, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, we're going to do that. Get rid of, well, not get rid of, but we'll keep it in our inventory for now. Until we combine it to make a better weapon. Okay, let's go take care of the goblin army now. Okay, goblin army is now defeated. Now it's time to look for the Goblin Tinker. Oh, there's the Goblin Tinker. Alright. Rocket Boots, Workshop. 
And I think... Yeah, no. It costs way too much to reforge. I will do this one, though. Demonic, I'll take that. Okay, put down the workshop. Okay, first, cloud in a balloon. And then we'll turn that into the blue horseshoe balloon. Next up, specter boots and lightning boots. All right. All right, we got some pretty insane mobility now. There is one more weapon that I would like to find before I take on Skeletron and then Wall of Flesh. And that weapon is in the Ice Biome. I'm sure most of you guys can guess. If you guys guessed the Ice Blade, then you are correct. Okay, here's an Ice Chest. Nope, not in here. Another one up here. Please. Okay, I'll take that. Ice Boomerang. There it is. Perfect. Okay, let's hurry over to the dungeon now to summon Skeletron. Because it is the beginning of the night, so I think I'll have enough time. Okay, honestly, I only need this platform. I hope. Okay, before I fight Skeletron, I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm going to make the Enchanted Boomerang. Ooh, we got Godly on it. And then whenever I go down to hell, I can transform this into the Flamerang. All right, let's get this thing started. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, it does deal Frostburn right there. Oh my. The hands are dead. Just like that. Okay. Shred this thing. Oh, let's go. Oh, that sound is so satisfying. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Wait, we got boarding on this too. Now let's head down the dungeon. And try to find ourselves the Cobalt Shield. As well as the Muramasa. Okay, first chest. Shadow Key and the Cobalt Shield. Okay. And with the Shadow Key, I can get the Dark Lance in the Shadow Chests. Third one. Blue Moon. This is a flail, so it's not going to work with the other weapons. Yeah, no. If I do this, then yeah, it'll work. But definitely prefer the Phase Blade. Okay, this is my fourth chest. Magic Missile, no, don't want that. Handgun, no. What is going on? Where is the Muramasa? What is going on? There it is. Oh my god, that took forever. Alright, we can get out of here finally. So I have the Blade of Grass, Light Spain, and now the Muramasa. So it's time to head down to hell and mine some hellstone to make the volcano. With the volcano, then I'll be able to craft the Knight's Edge. Alright, let's start mining. Alright, we made it to hell, and there is a voodoo demon waiting for us. Oh, please don't leave. Okay, I have enough inventory. Good. Pick it up. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can get the Dark Lance. Hellwing Bow, I will not take. There we go. So the Dark Lance does work. It does show up. But I'm going to need another spear to really test it out. Because if another spear overwrites it, then I know I'll only be able to have one spear in my inventory. Okay, we have 361 Hellstone. That should be enough for everything, including the Molten Armor sets. Molten Pickaxe. I don't think it's enough then. Because I'm going to have to make the Volcano and the Flamerang. Okay, if I pick up the extras here. 13. And then there's 10 down here. Okay. Let's see if 384 Hellstone is enough. Replace our furnace with the Hellforge. Okay, let's make the Molten Armor first. So we have... Let's see. What's a good weapon we can see on? 30 melee damage, for example. Where that's 35. So it gives us 10% more extra melee damage and more armor. And more defense. And then let's make the Volcano and the Flamerang. Okay, I only have seven more. So it does look like I need a 
few more bars to make the Molten Pickaxe. But for now, let's go back to the Corruption and make our Knight's Edge. And then we'll go back down to Hell to get some more Hellstone. Okay, Knight's Edge. Perfect. And then we'll get some more Obsidian over here. Let's just reforge our Knight's Edge while we're at it. Sure, we'll take Pointy. Okay, we got some more Hellstone. So let's make some more Hellstone bars. And then Molten Pickaxe. And then I'm just going to make the Obsidian Skull as well to combine it with the Cobalt Shield for the Obsidian Shield. I think it's about time I get rid of these Short Swords because they're basically useless now. They just don't have enough range to really reach enemies. So we're just going to sell them all. It frees up our inventory as well. Alright, so I'm good to take on the Wall of Flesh now. Okay, I made it to the end of the world. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Now, this should be extremely fast. Wait, what? Oh my god, too close. Okay. <laughs> Quarter health left already. And you're done. Jesus. Please give me the melee emblem. No. It's so weird. I never get the ones that I actually need. Anyways, let's consume our demon hearts. And then we'll put in our feral claws. Alright, I'm in hard mode now. So let's go to the corruption again. And break some demon altars to spawn in the hard mode ores. So we got... Palladium, Mithril, and Adamantite. Okay, that should be enough Palladium. Then let's make the Palladium Pickaxe. Next up is Mithril. Okay, we've got a Mimic here. Frost Necklace, okay. That's going to be very useful. Okay, 142 Mithril. That should be enough for the Pickaxe and the Anvil. Mithril Anvil. And then the Pickaxe. All that's left is to get the Adamantite. Okay. 392 Adamantite Ore. Let's make the Adamantite Forge. And then we're going to replace all of our Molten Armor with Adamantite. So the Helmet, Breastplate, and Leggings. There we go. 73 defense now. And because I have some extra adamantite bars, I'm going to test out the spares. So if I have two spares, will it override each other? 3, 2, 1. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah, it, it kind of alternates between the two. But I'm pretty sure the adamantite sword does not work. Yeah, it doesn't. I think I will be using this though because it has 81 melee damage and the Knight's Edge only has 53. But of course, once I upgrade this to the True Knight's Edge, I'll be switching it back. It's a bit unfortunate that attacking doesn't really copy the Knight's Edge, like the swing, I guess. Okay, I just remembered from someone in the comment section saying that if I throw the emblem into the Shimmer Pool, it alternates between the four. So Ranger, Mage, Melee, and the Summoner Emblem. So let's head over to the Shimmer Pool. All right, so we're here. Let's toss this in. It does, okay. Let's keep going. Summoner, and then... The Warrior Emblem. Perfect. Got another Mimic here. The Dual Hook, okay. Speaking of Mimics, there's two more weapons that I want to get in the Ice Biome, which are the Icicle and the Frost Brand. The Frost Brand I can only get through Ice Mimics, and then the Icicle, I believe it can just drop from any Ice Monsters. Okay, we got another Ice Boomerang. That means we can throw out two. Okay, I found the Ice Mimic. 
All right, what we got? Frostbrand? Ice bow, okay. We won't be needing that. Oh my god, there it is. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna reforge that because we do not want unhappy on it. Now, all I need is the frost brand. Okay, here's our second ice mimic. Yes, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need then. Nice. Now let's go up to a sky island and kill some wyverns for their souls of flight. So then I can make some wings. Okay, here's our first one and it's already dead. And here is our last one. There we go. I just need a few more feathers and then we're good to go. Okay, just one more feather. Okay, there we go. Got enough now. And then let's go make the demon wings. And we got warding on it. Perfect. Okay, so. We're all set. All I need to do now is wait until nighttime to summon the mechanical bosses. Alright, it is now nighttime. Let's get this thing started. I think I'm going to do the destroyer first. Here we go. Three, two, one. I honestly expected to just absolutely destroy this thing, but I guess not. I mean, I guess the reason why is because I only have a couple of hard mode weapons. The rest is just all free hard mode. But it's almost done. Then that was more health. And you're dead. Okay. And then we're going to summon the twins right away. We'll go for the green one, of course. Okay, it's already at half its health. Man, I really wish I had a DPS meter. Okay, second phase. Get up close. Hit a hit. Oh my god, too close. Okay. Kill it, kill it, kill it. That's one down. Why is there a wyvern? Oh my god. Okay, second phase for the Retinazer. And you are done as well. There we go. And last but not least, we have Skeletron Prime. Jesus, the ice boomerangs are doing work. Not really. It's only dealing one to two damage. Okay, 5,000 more health. And it's all done. Okay, let's open up our treasure bags. Okay, with our hollowed bars, we're going to make the Excalibur, of course. Replace our Adamantite Sword. We're also going to make the Gungnir. And I think 62 hollowed bars is enough for the full hollow armor set. It is? Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, I do need to fight one more mechanical boss because... I don't have enough hollowed bars to make the pickaxe axe, so I won't be able to mine chlorophyte. So I'm going to wait until the next night to do that. But for now, let's combine our souls and the knight's edge to make the true knight's edge. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using the true knight's edge instead of the Excalibur. All right, it is now nighttime, so I'm gonna summon the twins again because I think they're the easiest. And that's two. Okay, we have enough hollowed bars now, so let's go ahead and make our pickaxe axe. And now let's go to the jungle and try to find the plantera bulb, as well as mine some chlorophytes. Oh, okay, here's the plantera bulb. That didn't take too long to find. And then after mining this, we have 200 and 
13 chlorophyte ore. Now, hopefully this is enough to make all the weapons. So I'm going to make the chlorophyte. Oh. <clears throat> so I'm going to make the chlorophyte claymore. 137 melee damage. As well as the chlorophyte partisan. And the chlorophyte saber. Okay, we just added three more weapons into our arsenal. All right, let's see how it looks like. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh my god, and we got legendary. Demonic. Reforge this as well to Heartful. Let's go back to the jungle and build the arena. Okay, arena is all done. This should be big enough. Okay, everything's repaired now, so let's go ahead and break the Plantera Bulb. 3, 2, 1. Here we go, bottom left here. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! No way! No, no, that was too fast. What? It must be these three weapons here. Actually, you know what? It's not just these three. So I added in the Gungnir as well. The Excalibur and then the True Knight's Edge. Jesus. No wonder it died so fast. Okay, please. Can we get the Seedler? No. We got the Leaf Blower. Okay. Not what I wanted. However... There is another Plantera Bulb really close by, so I think I'm going to kill it one more time. For another chance to get the Seedler. Okay, let's go. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Alright, please. Damn it, we got two weapons that aren't melee. A magic weapon and then a summon weapon. Okay, now that we have the temple key, let's go to the temple, of course, and fight Golem. Okay, here we are. Alright, we don't really need a platform, to be honest. Judging by how much damage I'm doing right now, so we're just gonna start it up. Oh my god! <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait. Okay, let's actually count it down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six seconds to beat Golem. That is insane. And we're just going to use up all three power cells. Okay, that's done. One more. I can literally... Oh my. I can just stand still. Okay. We have five treasure bags. The chances of getting some melee weapons are pretty high. So we're looking for the possessed hatchet and the golem fists. Okay, here we go. First one. Yep, there we go. And we got godly on it. Perfect. Okay, does it shoot out as well? The Golem Fist? It does. Next one. Staff of Earth. Throw that away. Got the Stinger. Throw that away as well. Another Staff of Earth. And last one. Sunstone. Okay. You know what? I think I'm just going to stay here. Until I get the Possessed Hatchet. Because that is a really good weapon to have. Since it has basically aimbot, it auto tracks enemies. So let's see if I can farm some more power cells from these guys. Okay, there's one. Okay, that's two. Now, hopefully, with these two, I can get it. One more. Alright. Did I get it? I did not. One more. 
Oh. I got it. And I got the Ive Golem. There we go. Possess Hatchet. Okay, we're going to make the Avenger Emblem. And then the Destroyer Emblem. Then let's make the True Excalibur. And then we're going to make a Solar Tablet because it's finally time to make the Terra Blade. So I'm going to need a Broken Hero Sword from a Mothron. And then we're just going to have to wait until daytime to summon this. Okay, now let's try to reforge some of our accessories to get as much attack speed as possible. There we go. Violent. Violent again. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, I'm going to keep the demon wings as warding. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, this thing costs so much to reforge. Yeah, no, we're keeping as warding. Okay. Now let's see how much faster we can attack. Three, two, one. Oh. Maybe that's a bit too fast. Because <laughs> my True Knight's Edge had stopped throwing out its projectiles. Okay, we're going to have to reforge them again. Okay, it doesn't make sense. I have basically warding on most of my accessories, but my True Knight's Edge seems to be broken. Unless I'm starting to have too many weapons, that might be what's causing it to break. If I get rid of the Possessed Hatchet, will that fix it? No. What about the Golem Fist? Ah, there we go. Okay, it was the Golem Fist all along. Which meant that I didn't need to reforge these back to warding. Oh my god, I wasted so much money there. Okay, well, it is now daytime. So let's summon the Solar Eclipse. Okay, although my main focus is to get the Broken Hero Sword, I'm also looking for the Death Sickle, as well as the Chainsaw. Oh, here's our first Mothron. And you're dead. Oh, we got Mothron Wings. Okay. Replace our Demon Wings, because it is a lot better. Oh, there's the Chainsaw. Yeah, I'm not even sure if it affects it, to be honest. I don't hear the chainsaw sound, and I don't see it, so maybe it doesn't work? I'll keep it in my inventory just in case. Because I might not be able to see it or hear it, but it might actually be doing the damage still. Okay, our second Mothron. There it is. Okay, let's quickly make our Terra Blade. Boom. Here we go. Oh, much better. Okay, so all I'm looking for now is the death sickle. There it is. There it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Wait, another one? It has godly on it. Oh my god. Okay, this should sum out too. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh my god. Now, I'm just going to reforge my Terra Blade. Because this is going to be my main weapon to attack with. Oh my god. Let's go. 41 gold left. And then... Let's do this death call as well. Ruthless, sure. Now I'm not gonna go straight for the lunatic cultist. I'm actually gonna go for Duke Fishron. Because there is a weapon which is called the Flareon, which is a melee weapon. And I know I said before that flails don't really work in this game. However, I'm pretty sure the Flareon is an exception. Since it does have an effect which shoots out homing bubbles. Now I'm going to make the reinforced fishing pole. And then I'm going to go to the mushroom bomb to get a truffle worm. Oh, there's a truffle worm. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. And there's another one. 
Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, okay, nice. Okay, one more truffle worm, and then I'm gonna go to the ocean. There we go. Okay. I just need one platform for this fight. Hopefully within these three truffle worms, I can get the flare on. There we go. Okay, second phase. Third phase right now. Wait. <laughs> it didn't even get to its third phase. Oh my god. I killed it too fast. Alright. Bubble gun. No, thank you. Okay, third phase. I cannot see it. Oh my god, I was close. Okay. Got the tsunami this time. There we go. Alright, please. Okay, we got fish run wings. I am definitely going to replace moth on wings for these. To get rid of the tempest staff. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to get some more truffle worms. Okay, I got two more. Okay. Please. No. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then we get rid of the rest. Please tell me this works. It does. Oh my. Wait. Instead of waiting for this thing to reset, if I were to attack with it normally, like this, if I use the Terra Blade, it's the same thing as Boomerangs. So it doesn't really have a reset point. I can just keep on attacking with it. And this will spawn in so many homing bubbles. Oh my god, look at all these bubbles. This is ridiculous. We're right next to the dungeon, so let's go ahead and take on the Lunatic Cultist and see how fast we can kill this guy. Here we go. Okay, but yeah, using the Flare Run does mess up my Terra Blade. That's alright. Oh! Oh my god! Just like that. Okay, yeah, I don't even need the Terra Plate anymore. I feel like the Fleuron is just a thousand times better. Okay, and of course, you guys already know. The Solar Pillar will be first. We're gonna get two more insane weapons to add. Okay, Solar Pillar is done. And then now, I will be making the Solar Eruption and the Daybreak. Okay. Will the Solar Eruption work? Let's find out. Three, two, one. It doesn't. No. Wait a minute. No, no, no. If the Terra Blade doesn't work anymore, if I use the Solar Eruption as my main weapon, Okay, never mind. <laughs> it still doesn't work. Okay, that's fine though. As long as we got the daybreak to work. And we got Godly on the first one. Nice. Now it's time to take on the rest of the pillars. So let's go for the Nebula Pillar next. Okay, Nebula Pillar is destroyed. Two more to go. Vortex is done. Just one more to go, which is Stardust. Okay, that's last pillar destroyed. It is now Wound Lord time. Alright, here we go. Oh my. Yep, that hand is basically. Yep, it's all dead. Next one. Okay. Oh, is that laser? Kill it, kill it, kill it, before it closes. Okay, let's go. Now it's just this one. Okay, now it's just the core.
Oh, heal up, heal up. Oh my god. 25,000 health left. And you're done. Oh, what? And we got the legendary Meowmere. Of course. Oh my god, 338 damage. Alright, that's it everyone. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Once again, a very extremely fun mod to play. But I really wish that flails could all be used at the same time. If you guys enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment on what other mods I should try out, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I also made a video last week that allows me to attack using all magic weapons, so if you haven't seen that yet, I definitely recommend you to watch that. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Peace.